Hi, Tom Cole for Buckeye Cable and BCSN, and welcome into another edition of Sports Flash. And it's a very special one for me to welcome in a, a great friend, a extraordinarily talented uh, colleague, Mr. Buckeye Cable himself, Tom Dawson. Tom, it's so great to have you here on Sports Flash. And you know, I, I, when you look at your uh, your resume, all the things that you've been involved in, in your incredible career. You know, great writer uh, at the Blade, a great career at the Blade, then at Buckeye Cable. You know, the community affairs vice president uh, in, in charge of um, you know numerous things uh, at Buckeye. You've had an extraordinary career uh, at Cable. And then, at the end of your uh, career at Cable, you write a book <laughs> on the 50th birthday of Buckeye and the metamorphosis of how mm -hmm. it started, you know, how it developed, and where it is right now. Did you ever think, toward the end of your career, you'd be writing a book about Buckeye Cable? Not in my wildest dreams, <laughs> I didn't, no. <laughs> well, you know, Tom, usually when you write a book, you not only do you learn a lot, you already knew, you were Mr. Buckeye anyways, you knew so much about the organization, but you learn a lot about yourself in writing the book. Right. And through that, what did you learn about yourself, Tom Dawson, in writing this Building Blocks book, which is extraordinary, by the way. Uh, Building Blocks by Tom Dawson covers the history of Buckeye Cable from day one, 50 years ago, up into the uh, maturation and development of BCSM. Well, one of the things I learned about myself when I started, I wasn't sure I could do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was glad that Were I Were you could. a little nervous about doing it? A little nervous because I'd never in a, undertaken a project that big before. I was a newspaper writer and an editor. And that's a different kind of writing. A different kind of writing, shorter. Uh, this was in, in, encompassing 50 years of history, and I've always been enamored by history, and, and uh, the research was a lot of fun. Um, I just wish I... Each time I read a version of it or another draft of it, and even when I saw the page proofs in the final book, I still wanted to change things. Right. Because I, I, well, I wish I'd have said it this way, or I wish I'd have said that. Um, your work's never done, but it, it was just a fascinating experience, and uh, uh, just enjoyed every bit of it. Well, Tom, you're an outstanding uh, writer. I've read the book. It's sensational. What, when you do a project like this, not only did you learn things about yourself, but about the company Buckeye Cable, we've both been privileged to, to work at Buckeye Cable. It's been life-changing experiences for us. What wows you about the company? Because there's so many things, but give me a couple of things about the company the average person might not know that really wows you. Well, probably more than the company is, is the family behind it. I've been associated with the Block family since 1969 when I went to work at the Blade. and. Uh, they are a family of integrity. They're interested in promoting the community, doing what's best for the community. And unlike a lot of businesses, profit wasn't always the first thing. It was service to the community. And uh, that, that means a lot. And they've always been very cognizant of the way they treat their employees. And those kinds of things really stuck with you. And as I got into the book and, and uh, realized how far ahead of the curve Buckeye was in the industry. As I point out in the book, uh, Toledo had cable 20 years before Detroit and Cleveland right. uh, because it wasn't something for big cities. But Paul Block Jr., who was the publisher of The Blade at the time, uh, thought that this is something we ought to look at, that uh, newspapers ought to be looking at, at other things. It, and uh, they were willing to put a lot of money into it, uh, which probably uh, a lot of companies wouldn't have done. The nice thing about a, uh, a privately held company is they're not looking at the next quarter's stock market. Uh, they're looking at long term. And, and that, uh, uh, the other thing about Buckeye that I learned after moving out from the Blade in 1986 was as long as you do what's right for the customer, you're not going to be criticized. Uh, and the nice thing about it, uh, uh, you never had to remember what you told somebody because as long as you told them the truth, that's all you had to remember. You never tried to do anything shady or pull something over on a customer. Right. The customer came first. The customer came first. You know, you know, Tom, what also struck me is uh, the uh, philanthropic way that the blocks have, um, you know, they go about it quietly. I mean, 
you and I know the money that's been donated and the services that have been donated in the community. You know, a lot of times when people do that, they're on the rooftops yelling at people, you know, hey, look at us, we've done this. And they do it in such a quiet fashion mm -hmm. uh, because they think it's the right thing to do. Uh, well, at the, at the Blade, Paul Block Jr. was very hesitant to even make a donation in his own name or in the company name. It was always done anonymously. And uh, when I went to Buckeye and, and was put in charge of the contributions, Dave Huey, who was president at the time, he and I talked about it. And the, the, the situation is such in business as you get more competitive that you better start taking credit for some of those things. So. Right. We started to put the, the company name out a little bit, but by the same token, we wanted to spread it around as much as we could to as many organizations. And uh, uh, we contributed, and I think they still do, to some 300 organizations a year. The uh, guidelines are very, uh, very loose. Uh, Education is important. And anything that Im improves the quality of life in the community. Uh, your kid going to a church camp isn't something that we would support, but something that a lot of people do would be uh, the symphony. Anything that improves the quality of life. And then in the uh, the 1990s, we had a program that uh, I was really proud of called CATS, Cable System Assists Teachers and Students. And we gave grants of up to $150 per classroom teacher to use something that involved the students. Couldn't be the teacher going to a seminar or something. Right. And uh, it was really a welcome thing for the teachers because one of the teachers told me that their school budget was 68 cents per student per year for extracurricular, you know, art supplies, classroom supplies. A lot of teachers pull it out of their own pocket. And they do, they do, they do, they do. And they appreciated it and it got a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, success. Uh, we tried to do it, uh, it had to be to the teachers. One teacher could use it for his or her class and that was it. And the teachers at, at one of the inner city schools came to me one year and asked if they could pool the allocation for that building instead of going to individual teachers, if they could put it together and uh, buy books for kids because they found out kids didn't have anything to read at home. Yes. And they came back, we thought about it because it went against the grains of the program that uh, we had set up and decided to go ahead and do it. And they came back the second year and, a and asked if they could do it again because they met their three-year readership goals in two years because kids had things to read. Wow. And so, so things like that that a lot of people don't know about but uh, really affect the, the community. Tom Dawson, Mr. Buckeye Cable. The book is called Building Blocks. Uh, I've read it. It's incredible. It's a story, a, uh, an amazing success story of a 50-year-old company in this community that has 700 uh, employees that live here, or buy their homes here, buy their cars here, buy their food here, buy their clothes here, um, and they give back philanthropically to the community on a regular basis. Uh, Tom, you're gonna, some interesting dates coming up. October 22nd, I think there's going to be a downtown library, a press conference, and a signing for your book. You're going to donate very kindly a copy to every library branch mm -hmm. uh, in our community, which will be incredible. And we're going to have you on the Sunday before the 22nd on It Matters at Toledo for a half hour, and we'll get more in depth on the book. It's an incredible book. And for those of you that like BCSN, uh, Tom did a, he hit it out of the park on BCSN. It's a great, well, thank you. You did a great job. Thank Mr. Tom Dawson, Mr. Buckeye Cable, thanks for being with <laughs> thank us, Tom. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's totally Appreciate my honor. It. Tom Coley Coates for Buckeye Cable and BCSN.